Positive Connections, sponsored by Prochaska Howell and Prochaska LLC Law Firm. Welcome back to KSN News at 10. An exhausting journey for six Wichitans who biked across part of the Great Divide. Three of them used it as an opportunity to raise money for humankind. KSN's Mally Jones reveals what they gained from it in this week's Positive Connections. These men did the Tour Divide, which follows the 2,800-mile Great Divide mountain bike route from Canada to New Mexico. Although no one finished the long route, the six of them each got to different points along the way. Rides around Wichita deliver realizations for Tyler, Marty, and Cassidy. I'm noticing that there was a pretty significant presence of people experiencing homelessness in Wichita. It sparked an idea for their ride on the Continental Divide. We decided this is something we're doing already. Why don't we go ahead and do it as well, supporting a worthy cause. We want it to be something positive for the community. Their new purpose coined a new name. We dubbed it the Ride the Divide for Humankind and for Humankind Ministries supporting their efforts to assist those experiencing homelessness. There are challenges along this route. From day one we were hit with adversity. I forgot how difficult it was. Those tests are outweighed by beauty. This continent and this country is exceedingly beautiful and we don't even know it for the most part. Miles spent alone. A lot of time to think and I think it's good for the mind. Are met with community. The people you meet along the way are, are, are just so, you know, lifelong friends even just by spending a few days with them. They learned lessons. We take a lot of things for granted. That parallel with their mission for the homeless. Housing being one, convenience of food and drink and, and shelter and all of that. And those are all things I'm very thankful for. The view from the bike gave them a new perspective to take with them on the road ahead. They raised over $40,000 for humankind, and they all say they can see themselves going back in the future. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.